Good luck with the revolution, Minister. You'll need it. You'll be hearing from me soon, Garrick. I'm looking forward to it. You won't when you see my bill. And now that we're past that unpleasant... Now that we're past that unpleasantness, I think it's time we had a chat with Ambassador Odo, particularly about this technological wonder we've acquired. I have my suspicions, of course. Suffice it to say, I believe you'll find its purpose of great interest to all concerned parties. My main curiosity lies in what the Ambassador will have to say about it. I propose we get to the bottom of this together. Excellent. I'll make all of the necessary arrangements and meet you aboard Odo's flagship. Uh, so I have come to understand. Uh, that being said, I have a great deal of respect for the Ambassador. In the event that I cause offense, I trust you'll defend his honor in an appropriate fashion. Shall we proceed? What is this? Stand down, all of you. To what do I owe this unexpected visit? I hope you'll forgive the intrusion, Ambassador. We need to speak in person. What are you up to, Garrick? That's a very good question. What's this about, exactly? It's in regard to this device we found on Karema. Do you know what it is? No idea. Some new Karemin military tech, perhaps? Interesting. But no. The Karemins didn't make this. But it is a Dominion creation. And its purpose? I'm sure I have no idea, Ambassador. It does emit a signal, however. It's quite similar to that used by the Herc. Perhaps I should turn it on and show you? There's no need for that. I don't like where this is going, Garrick. Nor I, Captain. You see, I found a similar device. On Bajor. On Bajor? When? Right after the recent Herc attack, I'm afraid. Captain, scan the device. You'll find the soil residue on it is a Bajoran. It does. It's from the Kendra province. Well, th that doesn't mean that Odo... Enough, Nerys. I can't have you defending me on this. What? Garrick's right. These devices call the Herc, and we put them there. Explain. Now. We needed the Alliance's help immediately. There wasn't time for summits or diplomacy. So I found a high-value target and led the Herc to it. I also took steps to make sure their attack would fail. Bajor was never at risk. You have to understand that. You put my entire planet at risk. People died, Odo. Norris! Save it. I've heard enough. Please continue, Odo. You were saying? I did what I needed to do to bring the Alliance into the war. I lied. Risked the lives of millions to save billions more. But there's more to this than a staged Herc attack. The other Founders are hiding things from me. If I challenge them now, I'll have no chance to find out what. So, for now, I have to play the part. Well, you're doing a great job of that, Odo. Or... Should I say, Founder? Trust me when I say I understand your position, Odo. The Captain, on the other hand... I know. 
I have a strong lead, but I'll need your help to move on it. You know how to reach me. It seems you are a gambler, Odo, and a high-stakes one at that. You have no idea. Surprised to see you here, Weyun. Aren't you usually at your founder's side, hanging on her every word? It is a message from said founder that brings me here now. She would remind you of your purpose, to serve the Dominion as a whole. How kind of you to deliver the message in person. Thank you for your service. As for my service, the Ambassador shares his wisdom and guidance with me. Truly, he is a most benevolent god. Why should I not serve him? He is a Founder, after all. Serve the Founders, yes. But also serve them well. Do recall the fate of your predecessor. She thought she served the Founders well, quite possibly to the moment her unfortunate life came to its conclusion. As we both know, she was greatly mistaken. The same could be said for your predecessor as well, dear Weyun. Have you forgotten his sins? I know the Founders haven't. I know you work directly for a Founder, but you should remember your place. It's very impolite to eavesdrop and interrupt a private conversation between your superiors. Perhaps you need a reminder of who provides your Catracel whites. the revelation, don't you think? It will be interesting to see how the powers that be respond to all this. For now, I think it's best to keep this in the purview of the diplomats. Let's return to our ships. There'll be more time to speak about this matter later. This is unexpected. The Founders have put useful allies at risk here. While the Karimin should be punished for their rebellion, they should also be given a chance to atone and return to the Dominion. It is not our place to question the will of the Founders, but a good soldier strives to know what he can do about the battlefield and the challenges it may present. Remain vigilant and keep me appraised. Victory is life. Our gods keep their own counsel in the end. It is not our place to question them. And yet, we follow them because they have given us life. We pledge that life to them and earn it through our victories. But if a god's creations are valueless, why create them? And if they have value, why destroy them? Can a god be unworthy of worship? I trust you understand the need for security here. What you've heard today is not to be discussed with anyone else, understood? No one, not even another Founder. We have heard much today. The wisdom of the gods is not always evident to soldiers like ourselves, but I trust Founder Odo. I believe we should continue to serve him. He seeks to save the Dominion from the Herc, and he may well be our best hope in doing that. Speak of what you have learned today with no one, especially Wayun. I do not believe his intentions are always in the Dominion's best interests. Return to your duties. I will contact you when Founder Odo is ready to move forward with his plan. Remember, Congratulations, victory on is life. 